let us discuss current affairs today indian brain template the brain research institute the indian brain research institute located in haryana is doing research and creating a template of indian brains 150 samples were collected on an average at least one from every state and ut so that through magnetic resonance imaging they'll make a scan mri scan and they'll make a template of indian brains this has already happened in usa south korea canada generally there are some unique features in every race we can find variations based on races and areas so the indian brain research institute is contemplating to have one indian brain template at the national brain research center <coughs> national brain research center magnetic resonance imaging scans 150 adult indians one person from every state and ut there are significant variations in the location of three brain regions and the density of neurons in various brain areas between racial types between racial types so the functioning of neurons and other three brain areas will differ from place to place races to races for that reason for that reason indian brain template is being made by the national brain research brain research center located in haryana good news for 100 rhinos kajranga national park in assam kajranga national park in, in assam which has the highest number of rhinos in india we have seen the growth of 12 rhinos 12 adult individuals extra this time the total rhinos in kajranga national park now is 2413 2413 the total rhinos in kajranga national park is 2413 coming to the density of rhinos Pobitara National Park in Assam has density of more density of rhinoceros whereas Kajranga we can see more number of rhinoceros according to IUCN red data list International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources red data list Kajranga National Park in Kajranga National Park the 100 rhinos are in vulnerable list according to ir iucn international union for conservation of nature and natural resources red data list the 100 rhinos are in vulnerable list this might be a probable prevalence prevalence question generally they last questions from extinct vulnerable recently we all know male white rhino the last male white rhino dead in sudan <coughs> the last male white rhino was dead in sudan you might get a question on male white rhinos also and in india it was 100 rhinos in kajranga and pobitara both in assam in kajranga the number is more in pobitara the density is more Next important news today is in Kadaknath in Madhya Pradesh Kadaknath chicken gets GA tag geographical indication tag there is a concept called intellectual property rights in intellectual property rights we have copyrights trademarks industrial designs geographical indications and even business secrets etc in that ga tag was given to 
Kadaknath chicken in Madhya Pradesh. For example, Tirupati Laddu has a GI tag. Hyderabad Halim has a GI tag. Kondapalli toys have a GI tag. Madurai Malli have a GI tag. Tirunarvali Halva has a GI tag. Like that, GI tags are very very important for exam. Kadaknath chicken got GI tag. The chicken is in black in color. Kadaknath chicken breed is unique for its black color due to its black feathers. It is unique due to its black feathers. Its black color stems from deposition of melanin pigment. Deposition of melanin pigment. Kadakna chicken is black in color. Kadakna chicken contains 25 to 27 percent of proteins. Comparison with other types of chicken which contains around 18 percent of proteins. And this Kadakna chicken got GI tag. We have to remember. Kadakna chicken got GI tag. Next important current affairs is China launches twin Bidou 3 navigation satellites. B E I D O U Bidou satellite. GPS is a navigation of America. For India, IRNSS Indian Remote Sensing. For India, IRNSS is a navigation satellite. Coming to China, Bidou is the navigation satellite. We have to remember in Bidou, China. And uh, next article coming to newspaper today. Air India, Government of India announced that, decided that 76% of stakes will be disinvest, disinvested in Air India. 76% of stakes will be disinvested in Air India. Next article, exposing fault lines in Hindu today. The editorial is exposing fault lines. This is about eruption of violence in West Bengal and Bihar particularly Assam zone area in West Bengal during Ram Naomi procession. A young boy was killed during that period and violence erupted. How effectively we should deal with this? How you have to promote communal harmony is a very important aspect in this. Next article is about National Medical Commission Bill. Cabinet approved few amendments to National Medical Commission Bill. Next exam, NEXT. NEXT. Next exam, that is called National Exit Test. National Exit Test. The next exam is for the doctors. Cabinet approved amendments to National Medical Commission Bill. The Union Cabinet approved some amendments to National Medical Commission's Bill based on the recommendations of Parliamentary Standing Committee. The final MBBS exam would be held as a common exam throughout the country and would serve as an exit test to be called as National Exit Test. Next. NEXT. NEXT exam serves as a exam commonly throughout India for all MBBS students. And earlier in the bill, it was mentioned that apart from final exams, next exam will be conducted. National exit test will be conducted separately. But now in the amendment, it was told that the final exam itself will be a next exam, national exit test. And for the foreign doctors who wanted to practice in India, they have to write this next, N-E-X-T, 
national exit test separately but for indian students the final year exam the final exam itself throughout the country there will be a common exam that itself is a next exam that itself is a next exam earlier in the bill they have discussed about bridge course through which ayush doctors can also practice allopathy medicine through which ayush doctors can also practice allopathy medicine this clause raised lot of criticism and many experts said that it will end up in promoting quackery in india semi doctors who cannot treat the patients properly in india so in this bill the provision of providing a bridge course for ayush doctors to go for allopathy practice is removed you all know ayush means ayurveda yunani yoga siddha homeopathy so our rigpa also got a tibetan system of medicine also got added in ayush national medical commission bill is going to promote good parity in the medical education because medical education though curriculum is almost same there are lot of variations from state to state now it is trying to bring, bring parity throughout india as you all know national medical commission is going to replace medical council of india and uh, next important current affair today is social media cambridge analytica as we all know the impact of social media in the modern world is immense the space earlier was occupied by radio television now mostly by internet and internet right now is ruled by facebook google amazon etc and recently facebook has an impact in the public life not just as a strong social media and but also it have become a strong political media the data compromise the data breach and collecting the data of the people using the data without taking their consent have become a big news today though facebook ceo mark zuckerberg apologized for the entire episode the compromise of data might be negligence of facebook or intentional work of facebook nobody is certain right now but still what was happened is really strongly condemnable individuals will have data privacy right now in india sri krishna committee have recommended principles on data privacy sri krishna committee have recommended principles on data privacy this might be our prelims question or mains question this time coming to the other article today flood plains rivers cities and farmers flood plains rivers cities and farmers flood plains are very rich in alluvial soil sediments and nutrients and largely productive areas and most of the civilizations existed in the banks of rivers because flood plains provide lot of habitational facilities for the people but unfortunately water water conservation protection of flood plains rivers have become a issue today now what we need is sustainable development protection of flood plains there are various issues in water conservation water footprint in our life every day for every day activities for our survival how much water you are using 
For example, to produce 1 kg of basmati rice, we are using 2688 liters of water. So all these things we have to take care of. India is a virtual water exporting country. What is this virtual water exporter? We produce water rich crops, we sell them out. Rice is a water rich crop. Sugar crane is a water rich crop. We sell water rich crops. We consume a lot of water for the crops and we sell them. Even in cities, the floods, flood plains are very important. In all other aspects, we need to protect the ecosystem, particularly water bodies and river basins. The pollution of river basins with a lot of chemicals and fertilizers. And recently we have seen in Bangalore, in a lake, fires occurred because of reaction of chemicals. The entire water body got polluted. So we have the obligation to protect the biodiversity, flora, fauna, water bodies, particularly flood plains, and we should use them for the benefit of humanity and various living beings. These are the important current affairs today. Thank you very much.